Guys, we're here in the BenQ booth at CES now. We're seeing a couple things we've seen from BenQ before. There's some projectors, some monitors, but this is something that's a little different. Now, BenQ has had interactive projectors for over a year now. They, you know, you can sell that kind of thing to a school or a business where they want to make presentations. They want to be able to, to gesture at the screen or you know, write on it or whatever else. This is an interactive TV. It uses a very sophisticated system involving two cameras, and an infrared sensor technology to make the touchscreen incredibly accurate. Now, both Slick and I were playing around with it before we shot the video, and both of us noticed how easy it is to hit the correct action on the screen, even when you're off at an angle, which can be a problem on TVs because of the thickness of the glass and the fact that the LCD panel is actually behind the glass. So even while I'm off to the side, I'm not going to miss that black box when I try to write on it. You can also see there's almost... Oh, made one mistake. There's almost no delay as I write on it, and it is very, very accurate. So part of the problem right there is I'm mushing on it really, really hard. So if I sort of touch it more in the way that I would normally touch a touch screen, there you go, we can get quite smooth lines. So this is meant for more like the same kind of audience as the interactive projector, maybe a classroom or something like that, but where they don't necessarily have the room to mount the projector, or they don't want to worry about being standing in front of the light beam and it causing the the, uh, the actual screen itself to go black as a shadow behind them. Now this is something we've seen from BenQ before, beastly projectors. So they're saying their customers are demanding higher brightness projectors. So for something like a boardroom where you don't, you're not really able to dim the lights properly, this guy right here has all kinds of sweet, awesome inputs, including dual HDMI. They're also adding 3D to their business class projectors, which is I suppose entirely necessary because you never know when you're going to want to give a presentation in a board meeting in 3D. But the main thing about this guy is the 4,000 lumens brightness. Now, okay, so that's not a general consumer skew, but BenQ does have general consumer skews as well. They have also introduced this new merchandising scheme. They wanted us to show it off at CES. So rather than relying on the sales rep in your local big box store, who you're going to ask them a question, which one's 3D, which one's got the best brightness, and they're going to kind of look at you like, uh, and they're going to like look at the, at the label under the product and see if they can see it on there, because they don't know. So the idea is to put everything about the projector on an easy to read format on the top of it as a sticker. You just remove it when you get it home, and that's going to roll out to all of the projectors, not just that particular model we're looking at. Now BenQ already has the NLG official PC gaming monitor under their belt. Now they're adding the RL2455HM. This is oriented more towards the console gamers. Now you still have those features that were available on the PC version. That is to say you have the FPS mode, the RTS mode, black equalizer, which is designed to take details that are hidden in shadows or hidden in dark areas of a map and make them pop out a little bit more. Not something that would be ideal for photo editing, for example, guys, but if you're looking for every competitive edge, that's there. It has a one millisecond gray to gray response time, which is about as fast as it gets. And to appeal more to the console guys, maybe you don't have a lot of space, maybe you are a PC and a console guy, it has dual HDMI inputs. So you can either have a PC on the right of it and a console on the left, or if you don't, you have a laptop, you don't have a PC, you can have your PS3 and your Xbox 360 hooked up to it at the same time without ever having to swap any cables. So this is now their second official gaming monitor of Major League Gaming, and I think they're very, very proud of it, and that's why they have it here at the show today. Now, I've talked about the W1070 already, but this is a short throw version of it. Basically, the only things that have changed are the optics. So it now is able to project a 100-inch image, which is over there, in at less than a six feet throw distance. This is the first short throw 1080p 3D projector on the market and it's going to be available sometime in February. So just to make the point of how, here I'm just going to take this with me, just to make the point of how short the distance we're throwing here is, we can go sort of here, let's, let's go by Linus arm length. So that's one, two, three and a half Linus arm lengths and the actual throw distance that we have from the projector to the TV is just over one Linus body length. In fact, about five foot six inches, according to uh, what, what I think it, it converts into a regular sort of measurement. So this is really awkward, and we're going to move on to the next thing now. Kiss Design. You probably haven't heard of it before. That's because it's new to North America. This is a wholly owned subsidiary of BenQ, so they're getting into house lighting. Now I'm going to start with how much these things cost. This is $2,000, this is $1,000,
And this one right here on the table is $600. So guys, this is not meant to replace light bulbs. This is more of a fashion statement. It's intended for a luxury home where you're, you're it's not, I mean, it doesn't even throw that much light. It's more of an artistic piece. You're expected to actually already have lighting in the room. So what's cool about this one and all of them is they're LED lighting. I'm gonna move over here so that Slick can sort of survive over there. You can actually change which ones are on and which ones are off just by flipping the switch around. So the bottom is metal, the top are sort of these uh, uh, semi-translucent plastic panels and you can put it in sort of a pattern. It looks kind of like a piano, so that's why it's called the Piano LED Floor. BenQ tried really hard to have this all perfect, so now I've done gone and messed it up for them, so I'm sorry guys. This right here is the Seagull, so at $1,000 each, you can control how much light on the front knob it emits, just like that and you can actually control the positioning of the wings. So I told them I probably need an entire flock of these for my kitchen, and uh, I was offered sort of a, a very compelling discount of, I think it was $873.99 each. So, uh, so there you go. If it's the kind of thing where you want to make a statement with the lighting in your home, not necessarily a bad idea. Personally, I don't spend much time in high-end lighting stores, but my understanding is these prices actually aren't that crazy once you get into that kind of a product. This guy right here is the Coral LED table. This one's, to me, actually the most appealing out of them because unlike the others, which seem like they're bright enough to actually throw light, this really is just kind of a stand. You'd never use this to read by. It's just kind of unique looking. It's available in a variety of colors. And we have one more thing. BenQ wanted me to mention this. They have won ahem, a CES Design and Engineering Showcase Award presented to BenQ for this monitor right here. This is the VW2430H. It's a white monitor. It is optimized for Apple users. So that is to say you buy your MacBook, you buy your, your Apple desktop. It has a built-in profile where it's an Apple mode that tries to simulate the way that the colors appear on the display of your Apple computer. So basically, they're just trying to make it so that you have a more uniform experience. This isn't anything that you couldn't do on your own with a color calibrator or by eyeballing it for long enough, but out of the box, it is intended to appeal to an Apple user. It also has a built-in business card holder. You can't miss this, Diesel. Check this out. It rotates, holds business cards. Don't miss any of our CES 2013 coverage, make sure that you're subscribed to Linus Tech Tips.